वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट टू लेसन थ्री मॉड्यूल वन एफिशिएंसी मार्केट गवर्नमेंट इज द नेम ऑफ द लेसन एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉजेस ऑफ मार्केट फेल्यूअर हियर वेरियस कॉजेस फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मार्केट फेल्यूअर बिफोर दैट वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द मार्केट a market is a place where sellers that is producers and buyers meet for settling a transaction a market is defined as a group of firms and individuals that are in touch with each other in order to buy and sell some goods market failure market failure is an economic term that involves a situation where in any given market the quantity of the product demanded by the consumers does not equate to the quantity supplied by the suppliers market failures occurs when the resources are misallocated or allocated inefficiently in other words market failure occurs when market fail to produce and allocate scarce resources in the most efficient way that means demand and supply are not equal now we will discuss which are the causes of market failure this can be a question explain the causes of market failure there are various causes that are responsible for market failure we there are 10 causes we are going to discuss now one by one market fails to perform efficiently due to a number of reasons such as availability of public goods business corporates acquiring monopoly power in the real world market which is full of imperfections externalities arising out of economic activities imperfect and asymmetric information inequal income distribution and many other factors let us briefly discuss these factors number 1 public goods prices are the signals and the guide the decision of buyers and sellers and these decision lead to an efficient allocation of resources a public good is a special type of good that can be consumed by everyone regardless of whether they have paid for the goods or not when goods are available free of charge the market forces that allocate resources are absent second point market power the market organizations that is monopoly monopsony oligopoly and monopolistic competition are imperfectly competitive market none of these markets are efficient market control or market power arises when buyers or sellers are able to exert influence over the price of the goods or the quantity exchanged in the monopoly market the price is higher and the output is lower if the monopolist allows the cost efficiency to drop then an upward drift in cost takes place so no market is perfect competitive uh, perfectly competitive the third externalities an externality arises when a person engages in an activity that influences the well being of the bystander or a third party and yet neither pays nor receives any compensation for that effect third parties or individuals organizations or communities indirectly benefiting or suffering as a result of the actions of the consumers and producers attempting to pursue their own self interest if the impact on the third party is adverse it is called as negative externalities for example cars 
it is beneficial if it is beneficial it is called positive externalities for example education negative externalities leads market to produce larger quantity than socially desirable and positive externalities lead markets to produce smaller quantity than socially desirable fourth point asymmetric information it is a market situation in which one party in a transaction has more information than the other party this can affect the firm's strategy it can lead to market failures the lack of information among the buyers or sellers often means that the demand price does not reflect all benefits of good or the supply price does not reflect all opportunity cost of production that means the buyers might be willing to pay more or less for a good because they do not know the true benefits generated or the sellers might be willing to accept more or less for a good than the true opportunity cost of production in many cases sellers have better information about the good than the buyer a symmetric information can lead to poorly functioning market the fifth cause inequality market failure can also caused by the existence of inequality throughout the economy wide differences in income and wealth between different groups within an economy lead to a wide gap in living standards between wealthy households and those experiencing poverty the next cause missing markets and incomplete markets a market is considered to be complete when it provides all goods and services for which the cost of provision is less than what individuals are willing to pay whenever private markets fail to provide a good or service even though the cost of providing it is less than what individuals are willing to pay they are considered as incomplete markets incomplete markets are these market the uh, incomplete markets are the cases of market failures a missing market is a situation where resource allocation based on competitive market does not exist next seventh cause merit goods merit goods are those goods and services that the government feels that people left to themselves with under consume and which therefore th- uh, ought to be subsidized or provided free at the point of use examples we can include health services education work training public libraries vaccinations etc next unstable markets sometimes markets become highly unstable and a stable equilibrium may not be established such as with certain agricultural markets foreign exchange and credit markets such volatility may require intervention of the government next demerit goods markets may also fail to control the manufacture and sale of the goods like cigarettes and alcohol which have less merit than consumer perceive next property rights markets work most efficiently when consumers and producers are granted the right to own the property but in many cases property rights cannot easily be allocated to certain resources failure to assign property rights may limit the ability of markets to form 
so these are the 10 causes of market failure students in this we have seen that first the definition of the market then second uh, we are all the causes we have discussed look at the market definition and all the 10 causes the question can be what is market and explain the causes of market failure all the 10 points you have to give in this thank you very much